Very good morning to you. Now, former All Blacks hard man, best number six in the business, Jerome Kaino, is branching out into underwear. <laughs> and before you say underwear isn't new for an All Black, this does come with a bit of a twist. It's not just for the chiselled professional athlete's body. It's designed for, for all shapes, a body positivity message that's not really uh, that common among men. I'm wearing some this morning. Uh, uh, <laughs> 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 which is... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, they fit nicely and they're over my long pants. Um, Nikki, you've got some on as well. I think well, that people yeah, should. I've got quite a special package going on here this morning. Uh, Nikki. If you like it. That's nice a hell that. of a package, yes. Nikki. Yes. She's a former very model. Very comfortable, I have nice. To say. Nice. Yes. Cotton. Yes. Minties. Mint. Minty. Mint. Not snow. Yes. Mint. It's moments, it's moments like these, Nicky, we need to sit down. <laughs> it, is 10 par, it is 10 minutes away from 8, so joining us now to tell us more about uh, his new line is Jerome himself and uh, one of his models, uh, David um, Toaloa. Uh, welcome to the show, both of you. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Uh, Jerome hey, you from France. G'day, mate. Nice to see you. Jerome, whose idea? Who's, who's done all the hard work? Uh, it, was all, it was all of our ideas, but um, in, in, hard work, in saying hard work, I'd say Bayon has been doing all the all the groundwork back home. Uh, it's been pretty tough with COVID. Uh, all three of us Rockies in uh, Australia, and I'm here in France. So a lot of late nights on the uh, group chats and uh, Zoom calls, but uh, yeah, I uh, give all the credit to Bayon and his lovely wife, uh, Justine, who've been putting in the, the groundwork back home. Yeah, and, and Baron's one of your mates. You, you, the three of you are together on this. Why? Um, and we'll go to the other other guy shortly. But but why underpants, Jerome? Well, what's what's the deal with underpants? Why, why is it underpants? Mate, we always uh, wanted to do something together. Um, and obviously, in all our discussions, our underwears uh, underwear always popped up in terms of finding something that was comfortable for us. And when we settled on uh, making underwears, uh, uh, the the next question was who who was it going to be for and uh, I guess that's where part of our uh, one it's a product and also we've got a, a movement alongside it that uh, we cater for all shapes and sizes and lifestyles and uh, it's something that we truly believe in. So it's it's it's, um, it's blokes of all shapes and sizes feeling feeling good in these things. I mean, they certainly I wouldn't even know I've got them on, but I promise you I've got them on. But they're just over my pants. Uh, David, <laughs> welcome welcome to the program, international model. Um, <laughs> David, uh, Tola, uh, you're you're wearing some today? Yeah, I've got some on. Yeah, well, we, and they're under your they're under your pants. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, this one, and he's not know. showing you, Duncan. No, yeah, yeah. Well, I've seen enough with yours. Um, um, how how tough has it been creating underpants? Uh, creating it, yeah. um, I, I just wear it. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, what are they like then? Oh, it's good. Um, I'm not just trying to, um, you know, but it feels really comfortable. Um, sometimes when I wear it to work, it feels like I'm not having, uh, I don't have anything on. Uh, it just sort of reminds myself, oh, yeah, I've, I've actually got undies on. Yeah. Uh, it's really comfortable. But, but have you have you have you had trouble with underpants in the past? I mean, is it? Is yeah, it... yeah. Um, jockeys, uh, jockeys ride up. Yeah, <laughs> they ride up, is it? Yeah, it rides up. Yeah, yeah. it's sort of wedgie, isn't it? Yeah, is it <laughs> a front wedgie. Though, because like m all men are different, you yep. know, obviously created differently. So, is it hard to come up with a, a style of underwear that really caters for all men? Um, to be honest, this, some of the most comfortable undies that I've worn before are the really cheap ones. Mm. Um, and why? Why? Yeah, um, it's just because it was made. In a way that was suited to me, I guess. I agree. I'm, I'm, I'm like yeah. you because you, you know what you like and you know what what works because it fits. Yeah. It's, it's comfortable. Um, your international modelling career, how's it going? Oh, it's, well, it's going good right now. So. <laughs> <laughs> You're very comfortable, yeah. Jerome. I want to have a quick question to you. What I think is quite lovely is that you guys are staying true to your roots, and each pair of underwear pays a sort of a subtle tribute. I understand to South Auckland. Tell us more about this. Yeah, we. Um we always wanted to make sure that we uh, acknowledged where we were from and uh, uh, where we grew up. And obviously, Papakura, uh, Papakura uh, played a huge part in our lives growing up. And uh, <clears throat> we marked that with the SKU codes at the back. And it's got the telephone numbers, uh, the, the starting numbers of the telephones, 296 and 298, uh, that we've got on there. But also, um, Bayon's uh, Māori, uh, Asian, me and Johnny are Samoan, and also that uh, they represent, we represent that with the bands that we've got in our signature signature range. So we, um, yeah, we always wanted to pay homage to to where we were from and and what uh, played a huge part in who we are and what, what uh, where we are now. 
um, but also in saying that we, we grew up around uh, different ethnicities, people from different uh, backgrounds, shapes, sizes, lifestyles, and that that's part of the reason what drove us to making sure that we catered for uh, most men or, or all men uh, when we when we came up with uh, underwear. And what's how, 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 important, yeah, how important is the body diversity message? You know, what, what are you trying to get across here? Oh, it's really important, especially in this era with uh, social media, that uh, you know perfection and uh, filters are the new new craze. And kids growing up, and also people get a different perception of uh, reality and what's acceptable and and what drives confidence. And we just wanted to be real with uh, what we know is real, and that uh, confidence. Uh, you don't have to have six pack or a tan or uh, uh, taking photos on the beach every day uh, on on social media to, to have confidence. You you uh, you can have confidence uh, in yourself uh, no matter what you do. And uh, through our underwear and our movement, we wanted to normalise people being confident in their own skin. And um, no matter what what you do, what shape, size, uh, ethnicity. Uh, you are that uh, we make sure that through our underwear we're able to breach that, uh, uh, reach that uh, in men a little bit. I think it's awesome, but also just a more of a technical uh, question for you. Things like fabric. I mean, what have you gone into there? What will you use? What won't you use around your privates? <laughs> so we use uh, a fusion uh, between bamboo and. Uh, uh, organic cotton. So for us, we we found that the most comfortable. And uh, David would tell you, uh, David just said that how comfortable it is. And for us, that's a it's a great starting point for us to be able to get some feedback on that. And we were ha- we're happy with the results, and uh, and we're hoping that that can only um, improve and evolve as as time goes on. But as of right now, it, uh, we're happy with the product and uh, we're hoping to get a lot more feedback in the coming days. Hey, good stuff, Jerome. Um, chances of, a, uh, of coming back for the next World Cup, uh, walking into the All Blacks, it's, it's all over, is it? <laughs> if we do that again? No chance. No chance I'm done after this year, mate. I'm, I'm struggling to keep up with these young guys over here. Uh, yeah. and, and I look at the pace of Super Rugby at the moment, I'm... I'm glad I'm not in those games at the uh, anymore. Jeez. Yeah, no, you've, been, you've been a brilliant All Black, a legend All Black, stellar All Black, and uh, well done to your professional rugby player and mint founder, uh, Jerome Kaino, and uh, model David uh, Toaloa. Appreciate your time on the program. Uh, yeah, well done. Enter the brew. Uh,